Hola amigos, Hector Diaz here to call the action for Blacklist CAW. Now we have an interesting match here between where Extreme Tony is going to be in action. Now make it his way to the ring. Pretty Boy Perez. Local talent here. Man, look. What an opportunity for Pretty Boy Perez here. Going up against the legend that is the Playmaker Extreme Tony. And speaking of which, you hear that theme song, Classic, that was put together by DJ Premier that features. Rock him, Nas, KRS One, and Kanye West. And you see here the the current XGWL professional champion. He's also the the Aggression Championship Wrestling World Mayhem Champion, along with the Phoenix Pro Television Champion. Safe to say that Extreme Tony is Tony Three Belts. The, Back in 20, January 2012, he was dubbed Tony Two Belts when he won this, both the CCO National and World Titles at the very first conspiracy. R.I.P. to Eddie Mack, we're calling the action to that one. Given Extreme Tony 40 years of age now, it's, it's, it's a very fitting theme song now. It's a classic. A 20 time world champion in CAW. The only person in CAW that holds more world championships than Extreme Tony is Danny Jackpot. Now, is this going to be a star-making performance from Pretty Boy Perez? Or is he going to be counting the lights here? As they lock up, collar and elbow. So, probably was able to take down his larger opponent. Because, look at the weight difference here between Pretty Boy Perez and Extreme Tony. We're into the ring introduction. Pretty Boy Perez is 179, say 180, and Extreme Tony 250 pounds. That's a 70 pound weight disadvantage. Just one thing in legitimate sports, that would you would not see that. It's, it's, well, you see, there's a cruiserweight in boxing taking on a bona fide heavyweight. And a lot of fights experts, especially in boxing, would not would not allow such a weight disparity between two opponents. But this is CAW, this is wrestling, so... Oh, look at that! Bulldog takedown. Well, that didn't work for Pretty Boy Perez. And now the Playmaker! Oh, connects with a side rush and light sweep. One thing about the Playmaker, he's one of the best technical wrestlers in CW. And some people may say he has that, what they call, sports entertainment style. And now the Playmaker takes to the midsection and falls up with a DDT. And continues the offense with that elbow drop. And another elbow drop for good measure. One for the cover. One and only amigos. And now the playmaker looking to slow things down, try to wear down his opponent with a chin lock. Because one thing is, when applying a chin lock, they have to be careful to not to go below the neck. 
So that'll be illegal. And now that drop kick. And now smart strategy try to take out the arms of the playmaker. And now the cover. One and only because he's gonna need those arms to apply submission holds. And look at that flying shoulder tackle. Shades of his football playing days. And speaking of football players, there's been a long list of former professional football players that have tried their hand at professional wrestling. Look at this. Oh, amateur style takedown. Like the likes of Vern Gagne, Bill Goldberg, Dwayne Johnson, and and I want Roman Reigns of, as a playmaker applying this triangle hold. But I don't think Extreme Tony was able to get to the professional ranks as far as football goes. And now, Pretty Boy Perez sending Extreme Tony to the corner. Oh, this time he does connect with that drop kick. He tried it earlier but didn't work. And now the playmaker with a clothesline. The one thing that the playmaker, he can adapt to just about any style. Where he takes on larger opponents, he, he has no problems going high risk. And there's the lightning bolt, amigos. And as the friend would say, it's super effective. And now an another triangle hold. And just continuing the offense with that triangle hold. And now Fruity Boy Press has a... Well, I think I spoke too soon there, amigos, because... It's like, he's getting a little bit of offense in, but the playmaker is just not letting him get any, any momentum. If all, if all honesty, amigos, I'm surprised Pretty Boy Press has lasted this long in the match. And again, but it's a rare, it's a rare moment for Extreme Tony to take on an opponent that's smaller than him. Oh, look at that clothesline. Because the only opponent that has given trouble for the playmaker who's smaller than him is Sherman Sampson. Oh, look at that. Just sending him right to the steel steps. Back in the moment of truth, Sherman Sampson was able to retain... The XGW Ultimate World Title against Extreme Tony, where, where, where originally Sherman Sampson was calling out the Great D, and now the Playmaker back in the ring. Now Extreme Tony claimed that Anarchy took his best friend. And I'm hearing rumors that Extreme Tony is calling himself the living group over an aggression championship wrestling. Now look at this! About to go for the Padre Popper! And Oh! Connect with authority! And now, shoots the half, goes for the cover. One, two, and that's it. And Extreme Tony with the win. But one thing, amigos, you have to give credit to Pretty Boy Perez for lasting as long as he has. Now the question is for Pretty Boy Perez, is this going to be a one and done, is it going to be what, what Bobby the Brain Heenan called a ham and egg, or is this going to be a learning opportunity for Pretty Boy Perez to maybe improve himself and maybe get his weight up, improve his strength, and perhaps he could rack some wins. But tonight was just not his night. Especially going up against a bona fide legend in Extreme Tony. But, well, that does it for this match for Blacklist CAW. This has been Hector Diaz. Thank you all for watching, como siempre. I bid you guys adios, and we'll see you guys next time.